Hey everyone out there in YouTube land, this is Salty Bitch Jen, and that's Christian. And if you want to hear our thoughts on a movie I watched last night, well really you won't be hearing my thoughts, you'll just be seeing Jen be a really salty catty bitch. So if you want to see that and hear Christian's thought on a little movie called Outwaters, then stick around I guess. No, before you start, I just want to interject how I want to start this review is I want to interject. This is a movie that has dick decapitation, which is something I fucking usually love. And yeah. fucking Lorena Bobbitt style dick decapitation couldn't save this fucking movie. You get where I'm going with this, guys? Jen's Angie. Um, so the Outwaters. Um, I'm still not I saw in the this... right space for this movie. No, but I would like to stress I gave her, I gave you several chances to opt out into a different film and you stuck through it, which I both command and um, question you for. Um, but I saw this movie back when it first dropped and I watched it again. I've seen this movie twice now. Um, this is a, this is a found footage horror experimental sort of mumblecore sort of a uh, skin a marink like film um Please from screen bra oh, i do i agree with you on that that they should not uh, be put in with skin marink but they, just for to give people an idea of like a movie as this is like if they don't somehow know or know what the outwaters is because we're very late to this film but um yeah if it, it's sort of like a skin and marink by way of they're both very experimental and challenging um horror features that is e you're either gonna really gel with or really fucking hate yeah, I think you just said it right there. And before I get into what I feel about the film, let me stress this because I do real I do try to remember that people have feelings as tender as my own. And while this movie certainly didn't vibe with me, I can understand. I think there are some people out there that are going to enjoy this film. I think the majority of people are going to feel more toward how I feel, or maybe not as much anger as me. But they're no, not no. going to dig it. They're not going to vibe with it but there are going to be some people out there that might vibe with it and if it's if you do happen to be one of those people i fucking commend you like you see things that i you have you have more patience than jen does because i think that's one of the things you really need to vibe with this kind of movie is you need patience which is why i think well i don't know what your thoughts are we all know who has the patience out of the two of us so i can understand you having a bit more charitable and tolerable attitude toward this film as opposed to jen yeah, I've been purp purposefully very vague with you for the last month or so about my feelings Fuck towards you, this movie. Way. Fuck you. Um, I've been purposely very vague to you about it to till right now where I'm going to say, I really love this movie. I think this movie's really fucking excellent. You did? No. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, um, so let me pull, pull, pull back think... before... I do think real quick, I do think I definitely like and appreciate this movie more than you do, but this is, I also do not fall into the camp of liking this movie, and it's a very different way, like, I do, in, do, because, well, we never, we never did a video on Skin and Ring just because that's a very challenging movie and it just did not work for us. I have been slowly working my way through watching Skin and Marink, like about five minutes a month, uh, every week or so. Um, this movie is not the same. Is, uh, this movie I had no trouble getting through, but I also have a lot less admiration and appreciation for what this movie's trying to do. Because whereas Skin and Marink, like that movie was definitely did like a passion project from that creator micro budget and you know an expansion on his youtube video ideas which i think was really cool and i commend him for doing it and making a movie that very clearly resonated with a lot of people mm -hmm. this one this movie more so feels like and i sort of suspect that i've watched several interviews and he almost outright said it robbie the director seems like a cool dude but like he almost outright said this in a couple of them 
this movie less feels very intentional and purposeful like Skinnerbrink did and more so like him and a bunch of his friends got high and got, went out in the desert to shoot, to shoot some random shit and then afterwards they edited it together into a loose horror movie. Yes, and that, and uh, before I, like I said, before I get into shitting on this movie too much, I do commend, because not only did he star in the movie, but he also directed it, and you know, that is very cool. How many of us can say we made a film? That is very cool, and like, sometimes that works, like, look at the creep films, they weren't, it had didn't go in with any intention, and look at the fucking results with this, with that, but this movie just seems very pointless to me, that's what I kept asking myself many, many times yes. last night as I was watching the movie. Movie, That's fair, and yeah. it's aimless like uh, you know you just keep mm-hmm. you're driving the car and you think i'm gonna get somewhere somewhere and then the credits roll and you're you have a fucking migraine and that is another thing i want to bring up well you said it didn't bother you and maybe i'm just an old sad pathetic woman which yeah i am but like this like i've had movies that have, have, have moved me that have stirred me to tears that have made me frustrated and angry where i wanted to hit something never have i had a movie until last night that that physically left me with a fucking headache. And I'm not being funny when I said that because yeah. I was straining so hard. My eyes were straining so hard. I, w- I kept telling Christian last night, I'm getting a fucking headache from trying to see what the fuck is going on because most of the movie you're looking through this little fucking pinhole and it's like, God damn it, movie. And I just kept getting angrier and angrier. Yeah, this movie, this is the first film, at least that I'm aware of, that you can genuinely say caused you physical pain. Yes! Um, it, yes. And that you are not alone. I have heard, read like many reviews, seen many pieces about this film, um, and a lot of other people had similar effects to, if, if similar, similar things happened to them and similar like problems with the movie. Out of all of my issues <laughs> with this film, that is not one of them. I did not have any issue with the way the movie is presented visually. Like, yes, it is very hard to see things at certain point because because yeah, we are out in the desert at night at a lot of points and the only source of light is this tiny flashlight. And if you, like us, live out in the desert, no, there's very, unless there's something for that light to bounce off of, which there's not a lot of in the desert, it just kind of dissipates into the black void. So you don't get a lot of light in the movie. You don't get a lot of visibility. But weirdly, that never bugged me. It, I, I, this is a problem I pretty much, every single person who doesn't like this movie, this is an omnipresent issue they have. And I'm the only one that it did not seem to bother me. Actually, I sort of, like, I would have liked a little bit more depth of vision. But I also sort of appreciated and commended the movie with what it was trying to do there. It's honestly, I think, the best idea in the movie. See, I can kind of, and, and, and you say you're the le- lesser of the two, uh, do two of us on the found footage genre, because basically that's what, that's an old trick of the found footage genre yeah. is that, you know, you cover up, you hide things if you, cause you got a, these are all low budgets. You do little tricks to show to, so your audience doesn't know you have a lot less to work with than you actually do. And so like, on the one hand, you should commend this and stuff, but God damn, this is, I just kept getting so frustrated and you'd see something and then the fucking camera camera angles and usually I love different camera angles but god it literally was just making me nauseous when we were doing the angles with the upside down and running I was literally getting I needed fucking Dramamine before I could even finish this movie I had to take a whole fucking bottle of Dramamine and like I should and you're right I should be praising this because this is you know this is very much in the spirit of found footage movies and I keep hearing people uh really uh compare this to Blair Witch but again this is a movie that that makes and I'm not the biggest fan of Blair Witch. I like it, but I'm not in love with it the way a lot of people are. Especially considering that I that was when I was growing up. That movie came out when I was a teenager. Um, I don't have the nostalgia for it. Some people do, but this movie has really made me appreciate it because I think movies like Blair Witch did it a lot better. Hit it like this was just literally giving me eye strain and making me motion sickness. I've never had an experience with a movie like I've had with this one. Weirdly, like I said, it never did me like my example of a movie of a found footage film that gives me motion sickness is as above so below like that that's mm-hmm. the one that's the only I found footage movie that. i've ever seen that actually gives me mo- motion sickness this movie never does this movie never did i did i, I was totally fine watching this movie um it's it more so just comes down to 
this movie really, 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 if you like a strong narrative um, in your yes. film, um, like, Hi. like if you think, okay, Blair Witch is, uh, is like pretty loose in its narrative, but like that movie it has at least a through plot line of like, okay, group of teenagers go or filming a documentary to go find out what the fuck this Blair Witch thing is, some interviews, and then they go out in the woods and shit happens to them. Do they get, you get, get got by the Blair Witch or does something else happen? You know, that movie at least has a through thing. This movie, the plot of this film is a bunch of friends um, go out to the deserts of like, I think Nevada might be California, somewhere out there, down in the deserts. Um, to shoot footage for one of their upcoming, like they're a country singer and they're shooting stuff for either a music video or it could be turned into maybe like some promo footage for the uh, photos for the, um, the for the release and stuff. Um, and they just, and that's about the only plot of the movie. Like, yes, we, they eventually fucked up shit does start happening to them. Eventually. But, you know, eventually. We'll, there eventually. We'll, we'll talk about that because like the, mm. like, I know we were just talked about this with um, family dinner of like that movie. It takes until like the last 15 minutes to really get this movie. It, it's only this movie is about two hours long. And uh, we only really get into like the horror stuff until the op uh, we only get into that stuff of the film in the hour mark around there. Mm -hmm. The first 20 minutes oh of this God. movie are completely superfluous and not important whatsoever. Um, like, yeah, that first again. First five minutes or so, um, just to introduce the characters and stuff. But then um, you can pretty much skip the next 35 ish minutes because not really much interesting happens. Like, you would think we would use this time to get introduced to the characters and get a little bit more, know about, get a little bit, learn a little bit more about them as people. You don't, though. You just get random scenes of them just kind of fucking around and it's not really them fucking around that leads to character development or intrigue or anything it's more so just it feels like you're watching a random fit of footage of this group of friends just fucking around completely pointlessly and yeah. it's in the movie it feels like extended behind the scene footage um but it's actually in the movie it's it's this movie is incredibly padded it's very aimless, and it also has some, like, again, like you said, the, the, if you're a fan like I am that likes a strong, you know, narrative and story yeah. structure, there's a lot of holes, because I've heard a couple of people saying, you know, that this could just be all a hallucination, you know, they're going crazy, but you see, the problem is the movie sort of fucks itself, because, again, this is a found footage movie, and at the very beginning of the movie, it talks about memory cards, so everything the yeah. audience is seeing obviously happened because it's on these fucking memory cards and yeah. like it just it's just problem after and i could go with it if these were interesting people but they're not and the fucking country singer my god i'm saying this that bitch is fucking emotional if i had to hear her scream mommy one more time i was about ready to punch my goddamn screen <laughs> And also the sound design. And I think that I've heard people say that the sound design is where this movie really shines. And I can yes. understand that. I can. But I was, I you heard me because I called you. And as I was watching this, you heard me yelling at the at my TV going, shut the fuck up. It was getting yeah. on my goddamn nerves. If there is one thing I will completely praise the movie. And I will say I think it completely succeeds at. Now, whether or not it's a good thing thing or not you could argue i do think this movie builds a really interesting and dynamic soundscape the problem is most people who are gonna watch it can appreciate that i feel like this is a movie that is best experienced in a theater where yeah. you get that full surround sound and you really can get engrossed in it or if you have a really good home theater setup with like surround sound speakers and everything like that you could also get the same effect but i feel like this movie is really really truly meant for a theater yeah. um which only the only people saw in theaters was the festivals and stuff which maybe that's why festivals were super hot about this movie and then after it got released to the wider public a lot of other people were like 
what the fuck were they were they smoking with this? I think it's cool, and I think there are some people out there that are really gonna vibe and dig this. I think the majority of people won't, though. This is a movie that I would say, unless you're super open minded, don't mind a very lean narrative and like you know don't and eye strain and like you're okay to like hardly see anything fucking. And it seems like a shame because there is a one of our closing scenes where when I mentioned the dick decapitation and also the guts falling out i thought that looked really good and i kept thinking yeah. why didn't you do more of this movie obviously you had the talent to do something like this and see it in full glory why the fuck didn't you this real quick um there are also a prologue and an epilogue short films that go that came out a couple of weeks after the movie released on screen blocks that are also available they don't add a whole lot if on if anything they kind of feel like just extended footage and random little add-ons to the movie like it feels like extended footage they're nothing crucial but if you do end up really liking the movie i guess they're worth checking out if you do add the shorts in with the rest of the film this movie is nearly three hours long it does not need to be that long. This is the prime example of a film that if it was a short, I would kind of vibe with it a lot more and at least be, appreciate what it was trying to do. I still may not like it, but in a lot shorter and compact context of like maybe a 30 minute short film, mm -hmm. I, I could see this being pretty interesting and doing some cool stuff. But at the runtime it is now, especially adding on the shorts, this is padded to shit and feels like you're it's purposefully wasting your time at a lot of points yeah it i i couldn't agree with you more and this is not one of those movies sometimes you watch a movie and it flies by even if it does have a long <laughs> runtime it just goes boom this is not one of those movies and i i was getting really bored and restless early on and i thought oh boy we're gonna have some problems here and i kept thinking but let's give it a chance let's give it a chance and more and more problems but while i do have a lot of problems it's also for frustrating because like that one scene where we're seeing the dick decapitation and the guts go out there is another scene in the movie that i'm like this is an interesting idea and it's where he sees the group when they're coming into the desert and he's yelling yeah. at them to you know turn around and i sort of took it as an interpretation of like this might be some sort of purgatory like maybe he killed these people for whatever the fuck reason it is and like you know he's trying to go back and stop himself it was an interesting idea it, and but then we don't really do much with that and then we've got the fucking yeah. earthquakes and then we also got where we try to turn fucking tremors into a found footage gory movie yeah uh, there is like there are little there they look is like cool. they look they cool. look kind of cool, cool yeah the, the little graboid tongues do look kind of cool um yeah there is like a full-on like proper the movie isn't purely psychological there is some actual like monster in the movie um there's one of them you see pretty clearly there's another thing that you assume is some sort of abstract monster but it's shown <laughs> during the portion of the film that's incredibly incredibly dark so you don't really get an idea you just see some sounds and you see like this l occasional little bit of like movement of something you assume um you while watching it i because i was on the phone with you at this point while you were watching it i just have to mention um you just said Wait, what the fuck is that? Is that a fucking pig or is that a fucking werewolf? What the fuck? So yeah, that's how abstract and weird of a monster this has. Of you could not tell if it was a pig, a werewolf. The sound the fucking... design made it sound like fucking squealing like a warthog in my does, defense. Admittedly, yes, it does admittedly. Like I was giving you shit over that last night, but no, you, you, I do get where you're coming from. But I'm just like that shows how like ambiguous this movie is of, you don't know you couldn't tell if the monster was a pig a werewolf even real or if it was just a rock um which i guess could be appealing to some people but i don't know this just doesn't land for me now i do i don't want to go too far into this because since the sequel recently came out i actually want to talk about these movies at a later point but a movie that i couldn't stop drawing parallels to is the film horror in the high desert which is another found footage movie about a guy out in the desert who goes missing and it's and some weird fucking obtuse horror things happen um 
I love that movie. I think it's one of the better found footage movies from recent memory. Like I think it's up there with Hangman and the Creep films. Mm-hmm. Um, I really, really like that movie and cannot recommend it enough. Especially if you did like this movie or didn't like that movie, because that movie is a lot stronger narrative focus and it's presented as as a documentary for the most part. But that's that movie I couldn't stop drawing parallels because both of them, I think, now I don't know for certain, but I feel like both of them probably had comparable budgets. If anything, Horror in the High Desert might have, have had a lower budget. Um, and the effectiveness that Horror in the High Desert was able to pull off that this movie didn't, because something about that movie is, while yes, in hindsight, the ending of that movie is a little weird and goofy and very limited by budget, when I was watching that movie for the first time, that movie creeped me the fuck out. Like, genuinely, that is one of the very seldom movies that I've seen that genuinely creeped me out the first time. And I revisited it re- yeah, last night after watching Outwaters. And yeah, that movie still holds up really fucking well and does a lot of cool stuff, in my opinion. And I feel like that movie, it could have been what that that missed potential that Horror in the High Desert achieved is what I think Outwaters could have been. I try to be fair, but God damn it, I fucking, I'm going to say it, I fucking did not like this movie. I fucking hated this movie and oh, and I, like I said, I do see some people really vibing with this yeah. movie. But I ain't one of them. This was a fucking miserable fucking experience. And I don't want to shit on anybody. And again, I, I, th- this is a movie I would say watch at your own risk. Like, you can hear what, and there will be people out there like, you're a fucking idiot, Jennifer. This movie's fucking awesome. I get that. But God, this movie, w- and like I said, I'm not being funny. Like, I'm being funny in this review, but I'm legitimately not being funny. I had a massive fucking headache. Yeah, by you did. This film. I did. I did. And I, the fucking, and I got a little motion sickness because of the camera angles and I just I wasn't impressed I th- felt like the movie wanted me to be impressed but I wasn't that impressed it felt kind of try hard if I'm gonna be honest and I don't like to be this negative uh, to movies I've never made a fucking movie but it just came across as very try hard feels, I wasn't it, impressed I, I wouldn't say try hard I would say it feels for the most part very amateurish and then when it actually like pulls out stuff it feels very professional and very full of potential but you feel like it kind of that potential's just wasted because of the rest of the movie just not living up to these few moments of really cool ideas like the bit like the bit when we, the the bit at the hour mark when like all of them and like we're t- like this isn't really spoilers because again this movie doesn't really narrative is not why you watch this movie so like i don't feel like this is a spoiler but like the bit where they're the bit with the naked guy with the hatchet when that all first happens and everyone's screaming in the chaos in the camp i think that sequence is really damn cool and interesting if you could have seen things a little bit more if we or if we yeah. further expanded on that like i think that sequence was really damn cool like it didn't creep me out like War in the high desert did but i thought it was very effective and like you said our ending and there's some in, very inspired camera work here at points but then there's other points where the film feels really amateurish in its camera work like very weird like while skin and Marink, like i sa- said at the beginning of the video is a way harder movie for me to watch and way more challenging it also feels a lot more rewarding to get through to like slowly watch through than this movie does and i can appreciate a lot more than what this movie is even though i had a lot easier of a time getting through this like even if we didn't do a video chances are i probably would have stuck through with this movie movie all the way through um but it just it's never feels rewarding in the same way skin and yeah. does because yeah, like skin exactly. and like both are very challenging experimental films but they just at the end of the day one of them feels like it values your time and wants to give you something in exchange for your time mm-hmm. with skin and whereas this movie just feels sort of aimless and like it wants to waste a lot of your time <laughs>
wants to see this movie. Overall, my letter rating is, it's not going to be a letter rating. It's going to be a watch at your own risk. Personally, I hated this fucking movie, but I can see some people will really dig it. But I would say watch this at your own risk. But if you want Jen's personal opinion, I this is like a D plus. There's some talent there, but no, this was not an enjoyable movie experience. So with all that out of the way, booze and ghouls, we thank you so much for watching. Uh, sorry this was a little more salty than I normally am, but I do I do believe in being honest with you guys, fair and honest reviews, and this movie at the end of the day just didn't work for me. But as always remember, use your own judgment. And as always, we wish you a good day, a good evening, Evening. And in the meantime, keep watching and talking horror and we'll be back soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.